Okay, so let's see if you can go ahead and solve this problem right here. If you uh, feel like you're pretty strong in algebra, or even kind of basic algebra, then you should be able to solve this problem. So what we have is an inequality, and uh, specifically the problem is negative 2x is less than 8. What I'd like you to do is to solve this inequality and graph your solution on a number line. Okay, so if you could do this, this is a reflection of your understanding of algebra. And this is kind of like basic algebra, stuff that you would learn like at the pre-algebra level. So if you're not quite sure what to do, stick around for a minute or two. I'm going to explain exactly how to handle this problem because this is very, very important. This is a definitely a uh, algebra skill that you're going to need to know. All right, so we're going to get into all of this in just one second, but uh, first let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But I've been teaching math for decades. I really like to think of myself as explaining math in a super clear and understandable way so anyone and everyone can learn mathematics. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, I can definitely help you out in your respective math courses. If you are preparing for any sort of uh, test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, maybe a, a teacher certification exam. I can definitely uh, help you prepare and pass those exams. If you homeschool, definitely check out my homeschool math courses. I was just recently voted number one for middle and high school uh, math courses for homeschooling by a major homeschool publication. Very excited about that. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my math notes in the description of this video. Okay, so let's get into this problem. Negative 2x is less than 8. Now, one thing about inequalities in algebra is that uh, the steps that we take to solve this are very similar to solving equations. Okay, So before you get into uh, learning how to solve inequalities, make sure you know how to solve basic algebraic equations, one-step equations, two-step equations, multi-step equations. So if you struggle with equations, you're going to st uh, struggle with inequalities. So again, um, before you take on the additional new concepts of learning about inequalities, uh, make sure you've mastered equations. Okay, Too many students uh, don't master equations. They move into inequalities and now their troubles are doubled. Okay, So uh, go back and review uh, equations if you need to. So let's go and uh, get into this problem right now. And as I stated, we want to um, uh, use our knowledge of solving equations to help us solve inequalities. So this problem right here, negative 2x is less than 8. Well, a couple quick things here. This is less than. Okay, so some of you out there were calling this greater than. This symbol is less than. It looks like an L, like less. That's how we know. And so this other symbol is greater than. Okay, so just a little quick review if you were confused about that. So negative 2x is less than 8. What we want to do is kind of think of this as the equation negative 2x is equal to 8 because the steps we take to solve inequalities are very much like the, st uh, the same steps we use to solve equations. So if I was to solve for x here, I would divide both sides of the equation by negative 2. So x would be equal to negative 4. Okay, so again, uh, basic one-step uh, algebraic equation, hopefully yeah, no issues with this, but we're this is what we're going to have to do to solve this inequality. But there's a couple twists here. I'm going to talk about those right now. All right, so here I have negative 2x is less than 8. I'm kind of thinking of, of this as an equation, so I'm going to divide both sides of the inequality by negative 2. All right, so most of us kind of, you know, think about this problem. You're like, okay, I know what to do here. So negative 2 divided by negative 2 is a positive 1x, and then 8 divided by negative 2 is negative 4. But here is where a lot of students uh, make a mistake. So here, notice we have this less than symbol. And now, notice what I wrote down here. I switched this to greater than. Why is that? Well, when you're doing inequality problems, you really have to pay attention to uh, uh, this situation. If you divide the uh, inequality by a negative number, both sides of the inequality by a negative number, or multiply both sides of inequality by a negative number, your inequality symbol gets reversed. Okay, Do not forget to do that. That is so, so critical. And um, 
so many students forget to do that. They'll just they're going really fast. Everything looks fine, but you forget to flip that symbol. Okay, so again, if you're dividing both sides of inequality by a negative number or multiplying both sides of an inequality by a negative number, uh, reverse your inequality symbol. So we're going to go from less than to uh, greater than. So this is the answer. Okay, so we have x is greater than uh, negative 4. All right, all x is greater than negative 4 is the solution to this inequality right here. Negative 2x is less than 8. Okay, so if you solve this and you got that right, I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face and a 100%. I'm not going to give you an A plus yet because I want to see if you know how to graph this. So that's kind of the second half of this problem. And let's take a look at this now. Okay, so how do you graph a uh, inequality or a solution to an inequality on a number line? Well, this is the way I like to do it. So we draw a little number line. I always like to mark zero just as a reference. And then you're going to plot this point here, whatever your value is, on the number line. So here's negative four. We'll call that right there. And then draw a open circle around negative four. Okay. So now the next step is we need to determine uh, where the arrow is going to be going to. Is it going to be going in this direction or we're going to go in this direction? Okay. Well, Let's just make sure we know how, uh, what this is saying. This is saying all x's that are greater than negative 4. Where are the numbers on the number line greater than negative 4? Well, they're over this direction. So if you might be confused, you're like, is 0 greater than negative 4? Well, try a number over here. Is 5 greater than negative 4? Yes, for sure. So these numbers over here to the right of negative 4 are greater than negative 4. So that's the direction of your arrow. So if you're confused, stop and think about it. Pick a couple points just to make sure you know exactly where to uh, place your arrow, to draw your arrow from this open circle. Okay, so you always start with an open circle because what this is saying is that the solution is all x's that are greater than negative 4, but not including the actual value negative 4. Okay, negative 4 is not a solution to this inequality. But if I had this inequality, all x's that are greater than and or equal to negative 4, I would have the same graph, but the, instead of being an open circle, you would fill this circle in. Okay, So really pay attention to these graphs, open circle um, or closed circle. Okay, Your teacher is definitely going to be looking to uh, see if you know how to graph inequalities. And graphing, it's not just like an extra little thing you need to do from time to time. You need to understand uh, the graphs of inequalities. And oftentimes you'll be given a graph and uh, you'll be saying, here, based upon this uh, graph, what is the actual inequality? In other words, you'll go uh, from the graph to um, having to write the inequality. So it's very important that you understand uh, the graphing as well. But if you got all this right, I must go ahead and finish up uh, your little happy face with an A+. Plus. And I'm going to give you a few extra stars as well. And, um, you know, all that, those stars, I remember back in the first, second grade, it was so fun to get those stars. Just made you feel extra special. So if you got all this right, listen, you're definitely on the right track in terms of your basic algebra. But here's the thing. If you weren't quite sure and you watched me do this problem, now you're saying, I understand. Well, here's the thing. Watching somebody do math is not the same thing as you doing math. You have to practice this stuff, okay? And, you know, you're definitely going to want to practice uh, beyond this basic problem. So follow through, practice. Remember, um, mathematics is a skill. The, the more uh, you practice, the better you're going to get. But hopefully this, uh, this little video helped you out. And if that is the case, consider helping me out by smashing that like button. And uh, maybe even subscribe to my YouTube channel. I've been on uh, YouTube for 10 plus years, have over 1,000 plus math videos, basic math to advanced math uh, like calculus and everything in between. So if you like my teaching style, please take advantage of all my content. But my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.